Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Q. Uh, I'm going to do a pour on some, ooh, they're actually sold as um, wine goblets. I mean, they were $2, so even cheaper than the, discount, uh, the, the charity shop. But I'm gonna pour over them and I'm gonna put some rocks in there, but use them as little tea lights. So, um, so that's what I'm gonna do with these. Now, this is what I do to, if I'm doing this size, or even if I'm doing, this was one that I did find in a charity shop and I'll be pouring on that in another day. That was $4. I just get a large cup and I put it over. Now, lots of people have said when they seen my other particular pour that I did pouring over a glass vase, vase, um, you didn't show us getting it off the, the stand you put it on. So I mean, it's really, you know, because sometimes I just think these things are a no black brainer, but obviously there's still people that can't work the things out themselves. So I'm happy to explain. So when I pour this over this particular vase or that particular vase, when it's quite dry to touch, I will just lift it up and of course it'll stick to the um, cup, but that's why you should always use plastic or silicone because then all you have to do is squeeze and it comes off. So you just squeeze it and it comes off. And if it's left a little bit of a rough edge, that's fine. Just leave it and just give it a very fine sand when it's fully dry. And what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of embellishment around, like a little band of something, little beads or whatever around the top, if the top turns out ugly. But once you've actually given it a coat over with liquid resin, like a wipe on resin like I use, it covers up all of these bits or you can add a little bit of touches of paint. Then when you resin over it, they're not even seen. So that's how I get my products that I pour over. Just squeeze and they come off, simple. So it's no, it's no big secret or it's not very hard. Um, so I'm gonna use, see I went to oh, that particular place in Australia. This is not an advertisement for them, but I did like their coffee. Um, and then I took the coffee cup home and washed it and reusing it. So I will definitely be doing that whenever I get reusable cups. When I go out for coffee, I'll be reusing them. So I'm gonna use, and I found this the best paint for actually sticking to the glass. Because lots of people said, oh, I tried that and the glass, my paint didn't stick. Well, I've never had a problem, so I can't say that I have had a problem. So, and I just find that the pre-made, the pre-made pouring paints, or if you make your own paints, and you do a pouring medium with glue in it, it's the glue that's actually gonna help you paint, stick to the piece of art that you're pouring on. So I'm choosing these like um, tribal colors, should I say. I'm gonna go turquoise. I love, love, love this gold. I'm gonna go the bronze and I'm gonna put some black in it. So I, and my preparation for the glass, it's another thing I get asked, is I just use some isoprol and it just gets off. Actually, I should be doing this with my gloves on because it otherwise it leaves your oils off your hand on the product. So I won't touch it on top when I do this. So I just wipe the isoprol, isoprol alcohol. So it gets rid of any oiliness off it. I'll put my gloves on, which are uh, powder free, so they don't leave anything on there. Now I have Christmas time. I did pour inside the glass um, on deco Christmas decorations, 
and they turned out beautiful because then you got the really nice shiny coat on the outside so that's another idea so I'm just running out of alcohol that's bad isn't it so this is my isoprol alcohol it's not ah, it's not coming out very much so I think I've got more there but I'm pretty sure that's fine um, just getting any stickiness or oil from your skin off off the glass or you can use ceramic so that one's a little bit smaller cut because I only have one this side but that's absolutely fine now what lots of people don't like when you're doing this kind of art is the waste of paint that pours off so you absolutely can put a canvas underneath your product I just find that sometimes the canvas is a little bit spongy so I'll put a canvas under there so it, it collect some of the paint and then I can do something with that and when it comes to taking your poured piece off the canvas I get asked this to just lift it up by the plastic cup move it over there and then continue on with your canvas so I don't think that's too difficult um, right here so 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 let's I'll put another canvas under there goodness me I thought I was prepared and I'm not I'm just okay right here so I'm gonna put that canvas there and that one there so I'll make two canvases and two poured little tea light holders so I'm trying to get those as level as possible so I use my little leveler because otherwise the paint will run off one side and not the other so I've just got this little leveler that you can find from any home decor depot store or a um, discount store that one's perfect the bubbles in the center I know you're supposed to check everywhere but you know Close enough is good enough in my eyes. I am not an absolute stickler for perfection, so I don't ever want to be. It's too hard to achieve. You put too much pressure on yourself. That's my... Come on, what's going on here? Hang on. Maybe this cup, maybe I better go to the same cup. And just use this one for pouring. I think I might. I think I might change my cup and go to. Oh, if I've got another one. These these cups are bio cups in Australia. They're phased out or phasing out any um, plastic cups. So these cups are bio cups and they can be reused. I have got some lovely silicone cups that have been sent to me, and I will be doing a video later in the week with the silicone cups that are completely reusable over and over again so I'm going to use the same cup this one I'll use for a paint pour rightio so try that again and see if that works better that's close enough so there you go it might end up getting skewiffed but you know what it's <laughs> that's okay so what I'm gonna do first off is I'm going to pour my colors into a cup so I'm going to start with my ugh, actually I might start with the bronze so I'm just gonna layer the colors the pre these are pre-made pouring paints they come already made up so I'm gonna layer my colors into the cup I might take all the lids off so I can just get on with it without trying to oh one fell over this is my last gold and I'm not sure if I can get this gold anymore I'm not sure and the turquoise right here so i'm gonna pour my colors i 
don't want to um, allow too much colour in between each because I want it to um, show all the different colours in so it kind of turns out like a tribal looking I'm sure I'll get in trouble again for using the name tribal I'm getting in trouble for everything I do just lately <laughs> so I'm and you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't say that, you can't do that, or you shouldn't stop. It's like, oh, well, it was better if you did this and better if you did that. Keyboard critics. <laughs> I'm just hot like over sometimes when people are overly critical and they probably have never even paint poured in their life. Somebody knows what they're talking about, can always tell, you know, that, that they're criticism is constructive or but when it's just plain nasty wanting to um, steal your thunder or steal your light or keep the taker of joy that's what these people do isn't that so John <laughs> yes, <darling. laughs> my hubby come through he just agrees with me isn't that a good hubby not all the time doesn't agree with me all the time that's for sure so i'm just layering these colors so it's turquoise gold metallic gold metallic copper and black and they're just beautiful together they really are that's that one These are really nice gifts as well to give to people. Ooh, save some of my gold. Right here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. But what I want to do for a one base coat is pour over this very pale turquoise that I've made up with my glue and water mixture. So it's given it a coat of paint over the surface before I even apply my rest of my paint. Um, sometimes it's a nice thing to do is put a little um, round sticker in there so you can peel it off afterwards, you don't have to. But usually if I've got a big surface and it might be dimpled, the paint sits in there but these look as though they're pretty flat so I'm not going to worry too much about these. I'm not worry about anything so I'm just you know just like pouring the icing over a fancy cake it's quite therapeutic so then that's already kind of giving it a nice base coat and it's probably a good idea to just let this one run and settle for a a minute or two you can even give it a hit with your heat one just to make it sticky it's kind of it doesn't have to have completely covered it it's just to try and help the rest of the paint flow over it easily so here we go, let's pour this and I'm going to do like a ring, trying to just pour it in a ring. A small ring would probably be better. Wow, oh my goodness that colour is just absolutely gorgeous together. Even though it doesn't look as though it's covering it, it as you see it runs down and oh, that is gorgeous. Oh there's colours here. Beautiful. It may need some more paint, it may not. Because sometimes just too, you know, you can put too much on and over the couple of hours all this paint just comes down and covers your, your surface perfectly. 
So there's a lot of black on there, which I want to add a bit more. Turquoise to my paint to just see if I can just one more sort of go of this. I've got plenty of paint in now. I'm thinking I should do my other va vase. Vase, vase, vase. Oh my goodness, no, that is absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. The colours are lovely. I am absolutely going to just leave those on the canvas now. I don't want to lift them and disturb them and, and lose their um, evenness. I can come back in half an hour and all that paint on the bottom will still be good enough for me to try and do something with the canvas. So pretty excited about those. They look gorgeous and I know that this particular paint just dries and looks beautiful. I'll just grab my other one to show you that I did the big one with the similar colours. So I did the big sort of fish bowl. <laughs> so if you've got a spare fish bowl and it's not being used as a fish bowl anymore, make yourself a nice tribal or do they whatever they call it but that's lovely i love it i love this one so there you go i will uh, put the photos on at the end but i'm just going to really leave those now i'll just give it a hit with the dryer the heat one should i say If you're not liking the colours when you get to this stage, then obviously, you know, pour it over a bit more of the colours that you want to get in there, but I'm absolutely stoked with those colours. So as I said, they'll be perfectly fine. I will try and video when I come back to move them. So um, I hope that you enjoyed that. Please give it a go. Like I said, if you've got a fish bowl that you don't use anymore, perfect. You can make it into a a nice vase, a little terrani terranium, terranium, whatever you call it, <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back again soon, I'm just hoping that I've left them there long enough, now this is a delicate process, so I just... Got to be an easier way than this, but uh, I'm still losing a bit of paint off my canvas. But it's better than losing these off the cup. So, if you think of a better way of transfer, I mean, if you leave them till they're fully dry, then that's defeating the object. You can't really do anything with the canvas. So. I will just um, hopefully just push them forward away from the canvas and hopefully let them dry. Did lose a little bit of paint there, but you know, I could try and get my little spatula and lift some paint up onto the canvas again. So I'm just going to try and do something with this leftover paint because it upsets a lot of people to have so much waste. But it isn't really too much paint. So, but anyway, but anyhow, radio. I might pour. Actually, I might get a little tray and put these canvases on a tray now. So. Still using the same um, pad underneath. 
So my hopefully those will dry gorgeous because they're absolutely stunning and I love them. So if they're dry like the other one, I will be happy, happy. Rightio. I am going to... So what can you do with this then, hey? Can I collect it and collect it on my spatula and do this bizzo? Collect it on the spatula there and do this bizzo. My dog's having a party here as usual. Radio. Let's see what we get. I'm going to um, pour some of the turquoise, the very pale turquoise. It's just white mixed with the turquoise, with a little bit of turquoise in it. So I will pour a bit of that on. And then I'm going to, actually I should do that on that one too. Let's see if I can get anything out of it. Just try and, you know, use up that paint. So I'll see if I just basically pour, tilt over it. I'll put my runoff onto the other canvas. At least you've got two little canvases, I guess, that go with your little tea lights. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to not waste any of this paint. That's fine. That's very cute. Cutie patootie. So I'll just do the same with this one. I'm just going to tilt it. So they still end up looking really nice little abstract pieces of art for sure. Haven't wasted the paint. But I think because I've not got the same pre-made pouring paint as my base, it's sending a little bit, I can see it's a little bit, um, what you call it, like separating. But it might just add to the actual look of it, so I'm not going to worry about that one iota. Just a nice gentle... <coughs> hey, you two. Rightio. There you go. I mean, it looks like um, stone, like a stone bench top or something. I could do something in there, like just if I trace my skewer through these bits, and it might just add, bring up some of the other colour underneath. I'm not going to do any more to those because they look like pieces of stone. When they have a piece of the, uh, when they are fully dry and they have some resin on the same as those, you can put the two in a frame or whatever. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rest of this pour now in another video um, because this one's getting pretty long. So I hope you enjoyed that and you see what I did with the leftover paint. I've got two sort of cut quartz there it looks gorgeous i love it i think that'll be it for today folks um i'll put the dry pieces on at the end if i can get out here and do a video of me taking those dry pieces off those cups then i will so no worries see you again tomorrow my lovelies and um, take care bye for now okie doke my little my little glass vases are fully, well, they're sort of dry now. And all you need to do is like, you can move them around when they're dry. It's not so, so all you need to do is squeeze, squeeze either side. And they should come off. There you go. So you've got a nice, <laughs> you've got a nice rim to your eco cup as well. There you go. And there's the vase, the vase. So that's absolutely gorgeous. But what I'm going to do is give it a coat of the wipe over gloss. 
so I'll wipe over the gloss on this one but I'm gonna let it dry fully you know cure for a little while but, oh there you go that one come off see so they're when they're on these cups you've only got to squeeze them and they come off because the cup, cup is very shiny so it doesn't really stick to it and it, that's got quite a nice edge but if you want to um, jazz the edge up of course you can you know do anything you like with it so look at those gorgeous absolutely gorgeous really really pretty so so nice as a gift and of course they I think what did I say there was two dollars or something each so for four dollars and you paint you've got really gorgeous gift um, and you can either use a tea light in it candle or I was gonna fill it with a little bit of soil and gravel and put a little um, cactus in it because I thought it looked like Native American type thing um, I've also in the past used I'm not going to do it on these ones but if you want to edge something you can buy this sort of blingy edging on a roll or you can buy these and you can use them to you just glue around the edge if you if you so wish to so you've got a nice blingy edge but I'm, I'm definitely not going to do that with these because that's too much but you can cut them down to one row or two row and they come on a little decorative roll like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to pour over this this was um, a pasta a pasta jar that you know pasta sauce came in but I love the shape of it so much I thought I'd love that as a little tulip vase but then it's got the screw top so it's dead easy to you know put something like this when you've painted it over the screw top so you cover all that screw top and then it becomes a nice vase so I will do this at a, um, pretty soon in the next couple of weeks and I'll work on that one and also have a go at pouring over my um, vase or fishbowl whatever they are <laughs> supposed to be so there you go two for the price of one absolutely gorgeous really happy with those so i will say bye for now my lovelies please take care and until tomorrow please join me again then